Okay. Uh, how far from the Vancouver to Mission? About two hours. About two hours. Yeah. Wow. And now you still you still work and live there, or you? I do. That's that's where I am right now. Um, in the after after the virus is finished, I will move to burn move to Burnaby. Okay, near near my place. I live near Burnaby. Yes. Yeah. I live in Burnaby a lot. Uh, I'm in Mission. This is where my brother lives. I am okay. living with my with my brother in Mission. Yep. Right. Awesome. Yeah. But right now, what do you do there? Right now, I do this. I, I teach teach English. I teach with English Central, and I. Own Also teach children with another company, so that's what okay. I do. Right, awesome. Yeah. Are you studying English in Vancouver? Uh, no. Right now, I study a master degree uh, in the business administration in uh, Vancouver, Canada. Okay. Okay. Yes, and I have another part-time job as a bookkeeper, work as financial bookkeeper. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Are you able to do, do that job from home? You? Uh, yes, absolutely. Because mm -hmm. uh, with the technology now today, allow me to use the accounting software to work at home. Mm -hmm. yeah. But yeah. On the business transaction, I just enter those transactions. You know, if you study about accounting, you may know some terms such as assets, or the liability debt. yeah and then those thing I, i go with the technology yeah mm -hmm. then, yeah. <laughs> yeah i noticed when we were talking earlier i said pacific time and you said oh my time zone <laughs> and i just thought oh maybe maybe he doesn't understand but no it is your time zone <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah okay great Uh, so, do you have the video ready? Yeah, I uh, open the video and ready. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's. Um, you're, you seem to have a good speaking level from what I can see already. I'm going to see if you can guess the words. So, I'm going to keep the words hidden. And uh, please read what Yolanda says, okay? Uh... So I do Yolanda. Yolanda. Yeah. Yolanda. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I read on the sentence, right? Yes. Uh, hello. I like to speak to Frida Tyler if she's not too busy to do something. Okay. Available. Yes, if she is not available to do something, yes. Okay. Pedro. Pedro. Sorry. Sorry, she's to be keep occupied or enraged at the moment. Tied up. Tied up, yeah, to be. Okay. She tied up at the moment. Okay. Um, she's on a call that won't finish until noon. Okay. May I take a message? Yes. Please tell her that Zulada Phillips call. Um, we met at the seminar last week. Cinema. I think that's correct. A uh, seminar. Seminar. Semin yeah, your pronunciation. Seminar. Seminar. Sem seminar. Seminar. Okay. Se Confirm. Seminar. 
Again. What, Seth what? Mitnar. Okay. Seth Mitnar. Okay, watch. I'm going to type. So three sounds. Seth Mitnar. Seth Mitnar. Okay. Seminar. Good. Yeah, yeah. Seminar. Great. Seminar. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And uh, uh, I told her I called her to set up a meeting. Yes, I understand. What exactly would you like to meet to tell her? Miss Phillips, please tell her I'll be grabbing by Richmond next week. Mm -hmm. I'd like to get together with her. Mm -hmm. Would you ask? Uh, to call me back, my number is one six zero four three three seven double nine eight zero. Did you get that? Yes, one six zero four double three seven double nine eight zero. I give her the message. Thanks for your call. Okay, I'll give her the message. I will, I will, I'll give her the message. Good. Your reading's very good. Um, when you say the telephone number, you say double three, double nine. Uh, we usually don't do that. We'll just say three, three, seven, nine, nine, eight, zero. Um, yeah. It gets it gets hard for someone to understand if you go double three seven double nine eight zero. It's a little bit better to say three three seven nine nine eight zero. Yeah. Uh, do you have a Vancouver phone number? Yes, absolutely. I have a Vancouver phone number. Is it six zero four or is it seven seven eight? Uh, I have a two G six. Oh, 236, okay. <laughs> it's, it's new number. A lot of people confuse uh -huh. when I call them yeah. and the number show up, uh -huh. 236. They ask me, I live in Vancouver, BC, or how do you get that number? Because people are familiar with the 604 or 778. Yes, yes. Uh, so. Yeah, a new, a new new phone number now will become... Uh, 236. Two, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. The number. And hey, how I can get recognized? The number is a blend, a fixed line, or or the mobile phone number. Because sometimes six zero four or seven seven eight. Uh, sometimes is a mobile phone. Sometimes is a phone home phone. How I can mm. recognize this one home phone and and and, and cell phone? <laughs> you know that or not? I, I don't know. I'll, everybody I know uses a cell phone. I almost never, never get a phone call from a, a phone line. Yeah, so. because uh, home, home phone or office phone also show up the, the same, the first G number, 604. So that's why. I All the way 604? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, my uh, I know that uh, at my business in Burnaby, where I work in Burnaby, they're all 604. Yeah, I have noticed that. <laughs> okay, very interesting. Yeah. Let's let's read this one more time and I will be uh, I'll be the girl. I'll be Yolanda. Okay. okay. Hello, I'd like to speak to Frank Frida Taylor if she's available. Uh, sorry, she's mm, not Available at the moment. She's tied up at the moment. She's tied up at the moment. Yeah. And uh, she you on the con that. Yeah, she, she on the con that won't finish until noon. May, May I, I take a message? May I take a message? Yes, please tell her that Yolanda Phillips called. We met at the seminar last week. I told her I'd call her to set up a meeting. Yes, I understand. Uh, what exactly would you like to me to tell her, Miss uh, Phillips? Please tell her I'll be dropping by Richmond next week. 
and I'd like to get together with her. Would you like her to call me back? My number is 1-604-337-9980. Did you get that? Yes. 1-604-337-9980. Uh, I will give her the message. Thanks for your call. Great. Do you know where Richmond is? Yes, I know Richmond. There were a lot of uh, Chinese people who live there. Yeah. Yes, that's right. And also near, yeah. near my life because my place between the Richmond and Burnaby. I live in 49th Street. Uh, I know there. I was yeah. there last week in that area. Yeah. Okay. Close to Oak Ridge Mall? Is that the mall you go to? You uh, yeah, also near the Oak Ridge. Yeah, Oak Ridge in 41st. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Can you make a sentence with available? Yes. Uh, I will be available next week. Okay. Everybody available next week. There is a small mistake in that sentence. Do you know what it is? Uh, no, no, no. I, 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 I say. I will be. I will be available next week. I'm not. I. I do not say every people can every people go available. I say, I will be available. Oh, next week. I, I will, will be. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes. that's my bad ears. I think actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, correct. Grammar is correct. Well done. Um, do you know what tied up means? Uh, well, tied up is kind of the uh, busy thing, right? I'm not. Yes, it's. Yeah. It's like you can't you you can't do anything. Uh, you have rope around you. You're tied yeah. up. So yeah. you need. So... To, I can't go because I have I I have this problem. I can't go. I'm busy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So other people tied you up and they made you busy. Now you have to get free and go. <laughs> so you say, I'm tied up. Okay. Can you make a sentence with tied up? Uh, yeah. Mm, next week, my... Uh, teachers will tie up me with a lot of exams. Okay. You you have the meaning right. My teachers. Do you agree that that's what you said? Next week, yeah. my teachers. Okay. Okay. So you'd have to say. In this sentence, you have to change it to have me tied up. Have me tied up. My teacher, have me tied up. That's right. Have me okay. tied up with a lot of exams. If you say tied up me, that's like the paper is what they're using. Uh, the test paper is what they're using to tie you. Up. Yeah, the paper is what they use the test paper. Yeah, because of the structure of of how you said that. Mind you, most uh, ninety five percent of people would understand your meaning. A native speaker would understand what you want, what you mean to say. If you say that, so it's not a big problem. Okay. Seminar. Can you make a yeah. sentence with seminar? Yes, yeah, seminar. Uh, in June, I will have a seminar with uh, a bookkeeper in books program. Okay. In June, I have a seminar with a bookkeeper. With the books program? Uh, yes, with the book, uh, with the quick, quick books program. Yeah. With QuickBooks program, okay. With 
QuickBooks program. Uh, that is correct, 100% good. In Zoom, I will have a seminar with a bookkeeper with QuickBooks program. That is a, well, a correct sentence. Good. All right. Comprehension questions. What does tied up in line two mean? Um, number C, la busy. Okay. What will happen at noon? Um, at noon. And then I see it again. I forgot. Sion uh, Con does one finish until noon. Okay, let's see. Uh, the meeting will end later. It will finish the con. Let us see the answer. C. A. Yeah. Can you say again? Yeah, yeah. Uh, letter A, the answer, or? No, it's actually C. Fried yeah. and Taylor will finish her call. Yes. Let's yes, see if we yes. can find it. Yeah. Okay. Fried and Taylor. Yeah. What? She's number? on a call. She won't finish until noon. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Number three, what does Yolanda want Frida Taylor to do? Mm, give her a call. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the answer. Yes, give her a call. Yes. Okay. There was something in the transcript I wanted to ask you about. Let's see. If you... So he says, please tell her I'll be dropping by Richmond next week. Have you heard that expression before? I'll be dropping by. Yeah, yes, which means uh, you will drop by there. I will look like uh, you will go there and then you will see uh, someone. Right, yeah, I will go there. It's very informal language. Yeah, yeah. Informal, uh, someone you're very comfortable with. You just say, oh, I'll, I'll drop by means I'll go visit you. I will go visit you. Oh, Often yeah. we just say, I'll drop by. Okay. Yeah, I drop by there. Yeah, visit there. Yeah. Okay. What is good telephone etiquette? Uh, I think a good telephone etiquette can be uh, you may ask someone permission or no, or you may ask someone uh, help this bet another person who receives your call. You may ask uh, to talk with them. Okay. Uh, and uh, because uh, the ethic related to the way you ask, the way you speak to others on the phone. So that's why we should ask uh, in a friend, friendly way with someone else uh, in another phone. Yeah, as a... Okay, right, in a friendly way. Okay, good. One very small mistake, the way you speak to others should have an S on the end. Okay. Um, when someone calls you, can you, and you have to keep a message, are you, are you always able to remember or do you have to write it down? Uh, if I tell you, can you call me back? My phone number is 778-959-2929. Will you remember that or do you no. have to make a note? I have to make a note, absolutely. I've got yeah. to get on those things. Yeah, me too. It's very difficult. 
yeah that's also the that also is a good uh, good good ethics good the telephone uh, etiquette yeah etiquette yeah etiquette Okay. How many phone calls do you make or receive every day? Well, right now I have fewer phone calls received and phone every day because I do not work as a sales person. So that's why I do not receive any calls from customers. I do not make a phone to potential customer or product. So that's why I don't, I don't have man, many phone calls. And the phone I call just for my friends, um, I call my family. Yeah. But in the bath, you know, I work as a salesman, sales team leader. Uh, a day I receive or I call more than 100 calls. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Because a lot of partners, a lot of people call me, want to meet uh, me, or also call them, want to have a uh, meeting with them to tell them about the uh, bank for their activity. Mm hmm. Very busy. Okay. Um, you missed a couple of S's uh, th that I heard anyway. Either you're missing them or you don't pronounce them very clearly. But uh, I do not work as a sales person. I call more than 100 calls. Yeah. Yes, yes. I mix um, S at the end of the work or middle of the work. Yeah, there's person no cons. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you enjoy meeting new people? Yes, absolutely. I enjoy. I keep on meeting new people because different people they have different ideas. They have different ways to talk with me, and I learn from them. Uh, with their knowledge or uh, their thinking. Yeah, so that's why I am interested in talking to new people, new stranger. Yep. Good. Well spoken. Uh, so, why or why not? You get new ideas, uh, new strangers. Okay, yeah, wonderful. Um, I'm impressed with your English level. I, I think. Uh, do you have. Friends that are native speakers of English? Yes, when I came here, I tried to make uh, friends who speak English in here. And, oh, well, you see a lot of people here speak English. <laughs> Absolutely. Right? And native, uh -huh. native, native, native Canadian, Canadian people, Canadian, I have fewer, but don't talk to them too much. I don't know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because they're busy or we don't have something command. So that's why we just talk as work. Yeah, when we come to work and talk a little bit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Now, I, I would guess that uh, you would be able to be, to have, have a normal conversation. You're having a very, it seems like you're having an easy time, a bit of an easy time with me. And I'm not speaking slow. I'm speaking at my normal speed. So I think you're doing really good. Yeah. So. Thank you for your correct me some mistakes. Yeah, I love the way you do it. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, so that's the end of class. I hope uh, if you enjoyed the class, that maybe you can give me a nice rating. And uh, I really, really enjoyed talking with you. It's very interesting that uh, you're in the same same city as me. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right about that as well. Yeah. Very interesting. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye bye. See ya. You want to stop now? Yeah. Yeah, stop. I'm not sure how. <laughs> Not sure how to stop it. Oh, there. Okay.
Yeah, thank you.